Hey Matt, um, the name's Ralvi from Prime Wars Radio from Jakarta, Indonesia. How's it going? It's going pretty good. How's it going for you? Going great. I like your headphones. Do you really? I use it for my gaming stuff. It's yeah, we do. Max, we they we have some custom headphones they just sent us, so we're like pretty stoked. Sick. On it. Yeah. Sick. Sick. That's sick. I know. I mean, during uh, going into pandemic, I mean, I set up my own PC so I can game with my friends now. Uh, so yeah, I'm basically gaming all day long. Anyways, like, uh, new- yeah. <laughs> do you game too? Yeah, we do. Um, I'm not that I'm not that good at gaming, but we we like to play like Rocket League, and I, I play I play uh-huh. uh, NBA 2K a lot. So those kind of games. Sick NBA 2K. Okay, you got me there at NBA 2K. Well, yeah. uh, where are you right now, Matt? I'm in California. You know, Cali. You're in LA. Yep, LA. Okay, let me ask you this first question: Is it the Lakers or the Clippers? Um. Oh man, I kind of I love the Clippers, but. Uh, I, I got to say that I just have to support the Clippers because my dude, Zubats, he's like a homie mm-hmm. of mine. Oh, and really? And uh, he's just, he's been playing amazing. He gets better and better every year. But mm-hmm. uh, I get worried about the Clipper curse. I'm not going to lie. Me too. Me too. I mean, they're 2-0 I- right now. They're 2-0 yeah. right now. And I, I, want, I want them to get to the finals. I, I, I would love to see the Battle of LA. It'd be so I good. Do. I've been following them since like the Blake Griffin days and like, they're always mm-hmm. fun to watch. Um, Lob, Lob City? Yeah, Lob City was fun, for sure. They were. They were. All right. Man. Okay, I'm Matt from Cheat Codes. I forgot to introduce you. <laughs> Matt from Cheat Codes, everybody. I'm with him right now. We're going to talk more about Hellraiser's uh, Part 1. Just got done listening to a couple of songs uh, from uh, that specific album. So, how, how was the process of it? Because uh, it's it's... You just uh, break free from the major regular label leading uh, you guys to spread your wings and go crazy. Have you been going crazy with this one? Yeah, exactly. I mean, that's like the whole thing. It's it's uh, it's one of those things when you have the bigger a team you have, mm-hmm. it, it can move slower. You know, it's, when there's like different people that have to approve things and it's like you got to work on their schedules and everyone's kind of working on like a nine to five thing. And, you know, when you're independent, you're kind of in the driver's seat, like you're kind of the boss. So like, there's a little bit more work that gets involved, but you can kind of move quick. And uh, that's kind of what we like to do. We like to put out a lot of music. So of course, the first thing we do is let's put out a three part album. Like, what are we thinking? You know, (laughs) know? a three part album. Was it, is it, is it because you get, is it because you guys have three heads, Matt, Kevy, and Trevor? Is it because of that? Yeah, that's a big reason because originally we were just going to do one album. And then during the pandemic, we were doing a lot of Zoom sessions. And a lot of times we like to do kind of a divide and conquer approach anyway. Like we have a lot of uh, really good writer friends. Um, uh, like, for example, we wrote No Promises with Lauv like back in the day. Like he's just like a good friend of ours. Um So for this, we kind of just did a bunch of sessions separately because we had to in the beginning of the lockdown. Mm -hmm. And we kind of emerged with three different genres of music. And we're like, Mm -hmm. oh, maybe this is a good thing. Like, let's do three, like our debut album. Let's make it like a big blowout. Mm -hmm. It's like big special thing, you know? Mm -hmm. Because a a, a debut album is not not a small thing. It's it's a really huge thing. And you guys are uh, doing it separately. Like there's part one, two, and three. So that's something to wait for. Uh, right. Anyways, uh, a lot of uh, collaborators uh, featuring artists on this album, Hellraiser's uh, Part 1. How, how was it working with uh, a, a lot of uh, different artists? It was great. Um, you know, a lot of it, some of them we did right before the lockdown. So we were able to get in the studio ah. with Bryce Vine, for example, Mark mm-hmm. E. Bass. But a lot of them we had to do remotely, sending files back and forth. Uh, mm-hmm. Tanaka, for example, she recorded her vocals at her studio, sent them to us. And then originally it was just going to be her vocal on the song, Lean On Me. And we were like, let's just see what it sounds like with Trevor's vocal on there as well. And it kind of became this beautiful duet. <laughs> so why yes, not? Lot, why not? Uh, also, you mentioned Lean On Me. 
you, you just released the music video for Lean On Me, right? Yeah, it just came out. So we're just excited. Just about- came out. Just, like, really just came out a day ago. And it has already uh, 650,000 views. 650,000 views. Even more. Wow. That's great. We're excited. Yeah. So yeah. uh, what about the shooting uh, for the music video? What was the process of it? When when was that? We shot it like uh, maybe three or four weeks ago. And, uh-huh. you know, what's cool about it was we shot at this place in L.A. called the Pink Motel. And it's uh-huh. literally just they paint the whole thing pink, which is funny. It's, it feels like you're in the 1950s or something. Uh-huh. And they actually shot the movie Honey Boy there with Shia LaBeouf. Uh-huh. So kind of like, oh, I remember that scene shot here. I remember that scene shot there. <laughs> uh so that was cool yeah we wanted to give like a cinematic kind of vibe to it and mm-hmm. we added some cool like vfx stuff too to kind of match the vibe of the the album you know because the artwork is very like trippy almost like you're going into like alice in wonderland mm-hmm. vibe where things are coming to life flowers have faces and, and stuff like that <laughs> yeah. yeah so that was a lot of fun i assume so uh have you guys uh, begun the shooting for your other songs uh, music videos or just um, straight up chilling yeah, we're actually gonna shoot something tomorrow and uh-huh. yeah we're playing other music videos uh for part two as well but mm-hmm. so yeah we're just we're staying busy man it's 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 like non-stop now that stuff's opening back up in america yep, yep. we got a bunch of shows uh this weekend and yeah just busy 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 so i uh, i got a chance to listen to a couple of her songs from hillary's part one and one of my favorites has to be Do It All Over Again. Okay, nice. That's that's one of my favorites. So I was thinking, is there anything that you can or want to do all over again? Oh, that's a good question. Is Probably. It, is, it, um, is it high school? No. I did like high school, actually. I think high school was pretty fun. But uh, I don't know. I, I just remember like certain festivals that we played, like just being amazing, like Lollapalooza, for example, in Chicago, mm-hmm. like. I would just play that every weekend if I could. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yep, yep, yep. So you would do that all over again. Good festivals. festivals. Dang, you must be missing festivals a lot for all of uh, musicians. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so I, I got a chance to read one of your interviews as well. Uh, and this magazine asks you, which artist do you dream of working with? You said Hans Zimmer. When, why is that? <laughs> um you know so it's actually interesting so kevy his dad is a sound mixer he won an mm-hmm. academy award um and so he's worked on a bunch of big movies he's actually done a bunch of stuff with steven spielberg and stuff mm-hmm. and mixing sound so just us and like the group we really appreciate like soundtrack music and like the dark knight and all those like big anthemic soundtracks so mm-hmm. and actually uh, you probably remember this, but he performed at Coachella like a few years ago. He like brought out his whole like orchestra and stuff. So he did. He did. It would just be epic to do something like that, like on a record, you know. Uh-huh. Is there so. is there any any uh, progress? Have you reached <laughs> out? Have you I, reached out to Hans Zimmer? Uh, I need to email him. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> that would be fun. That would be exciting. That's all- so, uh, your preparation for part two and part three how is it going for that um yeah so most of it's done um we're kind of just doing the finishing touches before we like get it mixed and everything but but yeah we're planning on releasing the rest of it within the next like nine months like eight to nine months uh part two we're gonna have a single coming out for part two like within like the next month and a half i think so Mm -hmm. so yeah damn we're gonna Totally wait for that. And in the meantime, just listen to Hillary's part one, everybody. And also uh, check out their music video, Cheat Coach with Tina Shea. Lean on me. From that specific song and music video, what do you want to tell the listeners and the viewers? Um, I would say go stream Hellraiser's part one. Go request Lean On Me featuring Tanache on your radio stations and go check out the music video. You know, us and Tanache having a lot of fun, partying. She's dancing. We're mm-hmm. driving around in some classic cars and it's just good vibes, good summer, good vibes. summer anthem. Good vibes, good summer anthem. So what are yeah. you going to do after this, Matt? 
um you know i got a couple more interviews i'm doing and then right. uh, probably relax and then tomorrow mm -hmm. we're doing some stuff in the studio um record filming some videos and stuff like that so so yeah so yeah so thank you thank you very much for uh taking the time matt it's been it's been fun talking to you hopefully we get a chance to talk like live in person if i ever get a chance to uh, go to LA and do this media thing, live interviews, hopefully, 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 and why not? So Matt, yep. thank you once again, very, very much. I hope the Clippers win the series <laughs> and yeah, just all the best and stay safe and healthy, man. Thank you very much. I'll be signing out. Bye. Have a good one, man. Peace out. Peace out.